Hi folks, this is Mark Helms, and we're obviously with Pro Audio. Um, we've, here we're at uh, Eastern Heights uh, in Cleburne, Texas, a job we recently completed. We wanted to show you some of the highlights of the system. Uh, the audio system is based on DB technology line arrays, which we'll show you in a second. Uh, uses some processing, but then, of course, the highlight of it's always the mixer. Uh, here we've got a Roland M400 uh, digital audio mixer. We're using their uh, S4032208 digital snake, which is back behind the stage. We'll see in a minute. Um, uh, they're uh, real happy with it. They've gotten presets set. They can uh, adjust plenty of EQ and compression on every channel, um, and uh, they've got, you know, a lot of real good sets going. Um, they're also featuring a uh, Leprechaun LPX48 lighting console. Uh, we've got uh, Lightronics dimmers, uh, uh, Chave and Elation and Lightronics lighting fixtures, um, lots of real good technology here. Um, uh, they especially are enjoying the uh, Chave movers that we've sold them. Uh, they're, uh, uh, I believe, Q-Spot 250 uh, LEDs, so or 260 LEDs. Um, over here we've got our video department. We've got two po portions of the video. Uh, portion A is uh, provided by GoFish Media. Uh, it's using Songshow Plus, and it's their presentation for their uh, done by their box light projector. They also have a video uh, capture recording streaming system. They are capable of doing image magnification. Uh, uh, to do this, we've got a TV1 switcher, we've got a Kramer switcher, we've got uh, a Terra Digital uh, computer, uh, Canon and Panasonic cameras, lots of, lots of technology in the video department. Um, they're also doing distributed TVs to their nurseries uh, and other areas of the church. All right, so this is the uh, overall room. This is about an 800-seat sanctuary, plus they have a balcony they're not currently using. Uh, as I mentioned before, we have DB Technologies line arrays. Uh, we've got a left and right that are uh, six cells each. DB Technologies line arrays are self-powered, uh, I believe 1,200 watts each uh, cell. Uh, they're a three-way speaker. Uh, we also have a center cluster of three to... Uh, uh, help fill in a little bit of the slice in the middle. Uh, off to the sides, actually pretty much invisible, are uh, community uh, subwoofers uh, powered by QSC amplifiers. Uh, lots and lots of sub power in this room. We've got it way cranked back uh, until they need it. Um, we're also shooting, as I mentioned, a box light projector on a 16 foot by 9 foot screen. Uh, they're capable of doing image magnification, which is working real well for them. They, uh, members of their church actually custom built a drum enclosure, uh, as you can see here, uh, just an example of what, uh, having some crafty people in your church, you can do a lot of stuff and save a lot of money. Um, they're, they run with a very clean stage, no music stands, minimal, uh, micro, uh, microphone stands, uh, all of their praise singers that are not playing an instrument, of course, hold wireless microphones, uh, we're using Shure uh, beta 87. Uh, uh, they, uh, they've got, normally run, uh, two or three electric guitars, a couple acoustic guitars, uh, a couple keyboards, uh, and of course drums and bass. Uh, they, uh, using wireless, uh, Line 6 wireless systems for their, uh, acoustic guitars, uh, as well as using, uh, Roland's M48 personal monitor mixing system. Uh, now let's go ahead and take a quick look at the equipment rack. All right, this is their main equipment rack. Uh, we are using uh, Sennheiser 300 series wireless in-ear monitors, two channels of which are mixed off of the M48 personal monitor mixers for their worship leaders. The other two are uh, custom mixes off of the board uh, for their worship singers uh, to avoid use of monitors where possible. Uh, again, as I mentioned, they're using the uh, M48 personal monitor mixer. That, of course, uses the uh, power distributor uh, as well as, in this case, we put in a Cat5 patch bay to allow a uh, more flexible stage. Below that, we have the uh, Roland Digital Snake Box. It's a 32 input, 8 output configured. However, the S4000 is a very flexible product. It's able to do 40 channels either direction, so any combination thereof, uh, at all over one Cat5 running back to the uh, booth. Below that, we have the EV DC1 digital signal processor. 
Uh, it's a wonderful product. Uh, lots of ability for parametric EQ, compression, limiting, uh, anything we need to do with it helps keep their system safe from any blown speakers or uh, other problems. Uh, as mentioned before, we're using QSE amplifiers on the community subwoofers, but those are the on only amplification that had to go in the rack, allowing this to be a very small, tight rack, uh, and uh, to ha not having any issues with heating. As any good system needs, we've got some good uh, background uh, systems that nobody ever needs to really see or know about. Uh, in this case, we use Surgex power frames. Uh, they're their NEMA box do both filtering and extremely high-end surge protection uh, so that we are not coming out and replacing all this equipment next time. Also, we use a custom uh, power sequencing system. allows us to get a large number of channels uh, or circuits of power into the system without uh, having to have a lot of expensive uh, standalone relays. Uh, Moving over, uh, we've got our lighting rack. Uh, it's a wall-mounted Middle Atlantic rack uh, that we're able to put uh, all the house light dimming as well as all the theatrical dimming in. Uh, there's 24 uh, 10-amp channels of theatrical dimming and 24 channel 20-amp uh, channels of uh, uh, house light dimming. So lots and lots of dimming power in this system. Uh, not a real expensive price tag given this rack mount configuration. In this room we've got uh, some interesting acoustic properties, not as much parallel surface as some rooms. Uh, nevertheless, as you can see on the back wall, they definitely ended up needing to go with some acoustic treatment. You can also from here see the two uh, theatrical bars. Again, they had some really good help with the church. They were actually able to custom build these bars, uh, and have the electrician really wire it up so we've got a real clean lighting system. Uh, uh, as we mentioned, this is an 800-seat room. Uh, of course, it's packed out uh, most Sundays and uh, definitely get a lot of uh, volume out of the system. Uh, and from here, you can see the uh, location and size of their tech booth. The location really does work pretty well. There's a few acoustical anom anomalies, but uh, at least it's on the ground floor and well within the range of the uh, speakers. Uh, but it, this was our quick tour of Eastern Heights Church in Cleburne, Texas. We hope you uh, found it informative and just let us know if there's anything we can ever do for you.